Welcome to today's Photoshop tutorial, where we'll be crafting a captivating cover art design. To follow along, you can find the image link in the video description. Let's kick things off by creating a sleek rectangular shape using the rectangle tool. Ensure the tool is set to shape mode and customize the fill color, leaving the stroke as none. Adjust the shape's dimensions as necessary for the composition. Now, let's shift our focus to the text. For now, disable the visibility of the rectangular shape by toggling the eye icon next to it. Then, select the horizontal type tool. Type Anton as your text maintaining a regular font weight and a font size of 40 points. Align the paragraph to the left for a clean look. Re-enabling the rectangular shape, we notice that when we click on the shape layer, the type tool automatically adopts the shape path for the text. While we can adjust this later, for now, let's go for a custom text path. To avoid this, simply create a new empty layer, then draw the text path. Type your desired text, preferably keeping it succinct for optimal visual impact. This approach helps maintain readability even with line breaks. Adjust the text size, leading, and tracking as needed. Once satisfied, let's proceed with filling in the remaining information. Fine-tune the size and placement of each text block for a harmonious composition. For a professional touch, aim for a maximum of two to three fonts to maintain consistency. Introduce variety by adding a hashtag at the top to eliminate negative space. Combining fonts helps establish hierarchy and visual interest. I'm going for the Montserrat font at 35 points for the hashtag. Continuing, incorporate the remaining text elements. To prevent accidental clicking on the above text, disable it temporarily before adding additional text elements. Adjust the size as needed. Here again, I'm going for a Montserrat font with the font weight regular and change the leading to auto. Now we can enable the above text for further alignment. To make the bottom text align with the about text, I mean, to align exactly the left side of the above text. Make a selection of parent text. Then, align the child text with a reference of the parent text selection. Right-click on the parent text thumbnail and select. Select pixels. This selection aids in precise alignment. Enable the Move tool and adjust the text position accordingly. Don't hesitate to experiment with text size to strike the right balance between composition and readability. Now let's highlight the text, which we feel it's important, and the reader should not miss, while reading this. Select the text portion, then change the font weight. For see-through effect, right-click on the main text thumbnail, and choose. Select pixels. Disable the text layer now that we're done with it. With the rectangle tool selected, click on the layer mask icon. To complete the effect, invert the mask via Image, Image Adjustments, Invert. For added impact, refine the visibility and readability of the main text. Create a selection around the main text, then add curves. This automatically adds a mask, allowing you to manipulate the curves to darken the lower portion of the text. This is the before and after transformation. I hope you've gained valuable insights from this tutorial. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our upcoming tutorials.